Aggregate specific gravities. Several different types of specific gravity are commonly used depending upon how the volume of water permeable voids or pores within the aggregate are addressed. Apparent specific gravity, GSA. The volume measurement only includes the volume of the aggregate particle, it does not include the volume of any water permeable voids. The mass measurement only includes the aggregate particle. Apparent specific gravity is intended to only measure the specific gravity of the solid volume, therefore it will be the highest of the aggregate specific gravities. It is formally defined as the ratio of the mass of a unit volume of the impermeable portion of aggregate does not include the permeable pores in aggregate to the mass of an equal volume of gas-free distilled water at the stated temperature. Bulk specific gravity, bulk dry specific gravity, GSB. The volume measurement includes the overall volume of the aggregate particle as well as the volume of the water permeable voids. The mass measurement only includes the aggregate particle. Since it includes the water permeable void volume, bulk specific gravity will be less than apparent specific gravity. It is formally defined as the ratio of the mass of a unit volume of aggregate, including the water permeable voids at a stated temperature to the mass of an equal volume of gas-free distilled water at the stated temperature. Bulk saturated surface dry, SSD, specific gravity. Volume measurement includes the overall volume of the aggregate particle as well as the volume of the water permeable voids. The mass measurement includes the aggregate particle as well as the water within the water permeable voids. It is formally defined as the ratio of the mass of a unit volume of aggregate. Including the weight of water within the voids filled to the extent achieved by submerging in water for approximately 15 hours. To the mass of an equal volume of gas-free distilled water at the stated temperature. Effective specific gravity, GSE. Volume measurement includes the volume of the aggregate particle, plus the void volume that becomes filled with water during the test soak period, minus the volume of the voids that absorb asphalt. Effective specific gravity lies between apparent and bulk specific gravity. It is formally defined as the ratio of the mass in air of a unit volume of a permeable material at a stated temperature to the mass in air of an equal volume of gas-free distilled water at a stated temperature. Effective specific gravity is determined by a different procedure and is not covered in this section. Relationship with other specific gravities. The difference between GSA and GSB is the volume of aggregate used in the calculations. The difference between these volumes is the volume of absorbed water in the aggregate's permeable voids. Both use the aggregate's oven dry weight. The difference between GSB and bulk specific gravity SSD is the weight of aggregate used in the calculations. The difference between these weights is the weight of absorbed water in the aggregate's permeable voids. Both use the same aggregate volume. The difference between GSA, GSE and GSB is the volume of aggregate used in the calculations. All three use the aggregate's oven dry weight. The following relationships are always true. GSA is greater than or equal to GSE is greater than or equal to GSB. Bulk SSD specific gravity is greater than or equal to GSB. Aggregate specific gravities GSB, GSA, GSE and bulk SSD specific gravity are all is greater than or equal to GMM. Because GMM includes the asphalt binder, which has a lower specific gravity than the aggregate.